Today we're going to install running boards on the 2013 Ford F-150. Alright, we have our set of instructions here and our hardware kit. Uh, they come marked driver rear, driver front, driver center. So this one's going to go in the front, this one's going to go in the rear, and that one's going to go in the center. Just like so. Alright, so we have small washers and big washers. The big washers are going to go on top, the small washers are going to go at the bottom. These here are for the big washers, these right here. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. In here, underneath the vehicle, you're gonna grab these tabs and insert them, just like so. Uh, I think this one is a little bit too open. Let's swap it out for another one that's a little bit more closed. Perfect. So we're going to go ahead and insert this one, like I said, right in here. Perfect. And we're going to go ahead and insert another one on the other side with the little nipple pointing inward. Alright. Perfect. Now we're going to grab our bracket and I'm going to use both hands to do this, but I'm going to insert the big washers on top where I just inserted those. Go ahead and do that real quick. All right, and the way I have these screws set up is the screw, lock washer, and washer. So let me go ahead and set these up real quick. All right, once you have those up there, sorry for the light. Uh, we're gonna move on to these bottom ones. These bottom ones are gonna be the smaller washers. Same setup, screw, lock washer, and washer. The only difference is that we're gonna actually use a nut on this side. So let's go ahead and grab one of these and insert it right through here. And I'm gonna use oh, both hands, but I guess I could just use one. Nice. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. <laughs> Sweet, so now we're gonna do the same thing with the other side. Grab a small washer one and grab a nut. We're gonna go ahead and insert it down from the bottom. Alright, stay. And here we go. Don't fall. Alright, there it is. And we're just gonna leave everything nice and loose. And we'll mount on the other ones, the center and the front. And then we'll mount the rails and then we'll secure everything down. All right, and here we are on the center. I don't know if uh, most cars will have this, but this one actually had like a tape on the way. I had to remove it. You can see the tape marking. And we're gonna go ahead and answer this one right in here. two hands. All right, once we have that into place, whoops, almost dropped my phone. <laughs> We're gonna grab our bracket and just insert it here. Put a screw with the small washer on this side and the one with the big washer right up here. Go ahead and do that real quick. All right, there it is. The one with the small washer is right there. And the one with the big larger, wick, <laughs> big washer, excuse me, is up there. All right, same process in the front as the rear. We're gonna go ahead and remove those and insert the new ones. I suggest using needle nose pliers. Makes life so much easier, just like that. All right, and we'll go ahead and insert the new ones. Like so. All right, just like so. And it's time to insert the bracket. Oh, bracket don't fit. 
I mean, it does fit, but it doesn't fit in the camera. <laughs> All right, same process here. Big washers on top, little washers at the bottom. All right, three brackets are installed. Now we're gonna go ahead and put in the running boards. All right, the next step you're gonna do is grab the side rail and place it into position. All right, these instructions are not very clear, but it appears that these are for the side rail. Um, but if you notice, I have a ton of washers left over. In here, these, it does not say hex bolt lock washer, or it should be hex bolt flat washer, lock washer, and then flat washer and then hex nut but it just says well I guess these two two no what? I think these washers because there are so many left go on the other side up here where the nut is at so I don't like to leave stuff undone, so I'm gonna go back before I secure everything, and I'm gonna put these other washers on the other side. And for now, these do go right here to hold the side rail in place. So let me go ahead and do that and fix that real quick. All right, those instructions are not really clear, um, but I went ahead and set up all of these bottom ones, just like this, then the screw, a washer, then a washer, then the lock washer, and then the nut. So it should look a little something like this, and like that. And now, since we have everything in place, it's time to secure everything. So let's go ahead and strap down all these bolts, starting from the top up here. Sweet. All right, so we're gonna be using a 13 millimeter to tie it down all of these bolts. So I'll go ahead and start off in the front with those top ones. and we'll do all the top ones first and then move on to these because we're going to need something to grab on this side and make sure it's nice and tight all right uh, this nut is 13 millimeter but i'm going to just going to be using a crescent wrench to grab onto it and tie it down from the bottom Alright, and there it is, nice and secured. And that's how I think it should have properly be done. Washer, washer, lock washer, and that. Alright, once you have all of these nice and secured, now it's time to tie the rails. So we can go ahead and tie them down. solid all right and there it is and that's how you install running boards or side rails on a 2013 Ford F-150 then the passenger side is essentially the same thank you for watching please like and subscribe
Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out.